we now come to the main event for this evening, and it's my pleasure to announce this year's grants recipients, people who really do work thanklessly for the animals. Tonight is our way of saying thank you to those of you here tonight who work so hard and to celebrate your achievements. The grants awarded tonight will take the total amount granted since Voiceless began to $1.2 million, and we are so pleased that we have been able to make this kind of contribution to the animal protection movement in Australia. I will now announce each recipient from smallest to largest grant and give a brief description of each project. As I read out the name, if each recipient um, could please come, of, come forward to accept your award from Brian. Okay, the first, are you ready? The first small grant of $400, which is kindly sponsored by Mellon Media, goes to Cage Free Campus from the University of Melbourne Animal Protection Society. And Anastasia Smith-Tanka is coming to accept the word. Oh, she's late, okay. <laughs> On her behalf. So the Cage Free Campus project has two objectives. Firstly, at a grassroots level, it seeks to raise awareness on campus of the cruel plight of battery hens. And secondly, at an executive level, it seeks to get university council to support a cage-free campus policy, which mandates that eateries on campus do not use cage eggs. Our second grant for $1,500, also kindly sponsored by Mellon Media, goes to the Animal Protection Forum Commercial from the Southern Cross University and Northern Rivers Le Community Legal Center. Um, I don't believe anyone's here to accept this award, so we'll accept it on their behalf. This commercial, which will be broadcast with the generous assistance of the local television network, will be used to promote the Animal Protection Forum, which is the final part of the Animal Law Education Project sponsored by the 2009 Voiceless Grants. $5,000 goes to the project, The Kangaroo and the Industry, Implementation and Evaluation of a Public Awareness Raising Strategy. And this project is by Prof Professor Eleonora Gulone from Monash University. Um, she, she couldn't make it tonight either. Legal kangaroo killing is responsible for the largest slaughter of land-based animals on Earth. The kangaroo industry, supported by the government's code of practice, profits from this cruel treatment. At the same time, the community remains misinformed about the issue. This project will review recent media coverage of the issue and develop material to raise public awareness to counter common misconceptions. $5,000 to Feedlot's Marbled Meat Exposé by Animal Liberation New South Wales, Mark Pearson. The intent of the project is to gather irrefutable evidence of disease and suffering found in Australian feedlots, and in particular, animals bred for marbled meat. This information will then be put out through the media to ensure it reaches maximum audiences in Australia, where the animals are raised, and in Japan, the largest market for marbled meat. $5,000 to the Shareholder Activism Guide by the University of Technology, Sydney. And Dr. David Bubnerlitik is here. The Shareholder Activism Guide will provide comprehensive information for investors on how changing societal values regarding the health and well being of animals presents serious risks to businesses whose operations of supply chains have links to intensive animal agriculture. The guide will show different types of investors how to research and engage with public companies and institutional investors to proactively bring about change, to protect their investments and to maintain ethical integrity. $6,100 to Big Birds, Big Cruelty by Animal Liberation ACT, Lara Drew.
This project is a community education campaign designed to raise awareness of factory farm turkeys in Australia, a little known issue. It will involve developing resources to be used in future education campaigns by a range of organisations across Australia. $10,000 to Animals, People, a Shared Environment by the Australian Animal Study Group. Dr. Georgette Leah, Leah Burns and Clive Phillips. This will be the fourth Australian Animal Studies Group Conference. The 2011 conference will focus on animal law, animal ethics and welfare, animal issues in history, anthropology and cultural studies, animal behaviour and pres preservation of wildlife and their habitats. $11,000.29 to <laughs> The Bust um, by Wild Oat Films. Michael Dalstrom, Andrew Cunningham, and Augusta Miller. The Bust is an explosive expose of intensive farming in Australia today. Its aim is to raise public awareness of intensive farming and shift the perception of animal rights activism from a fringe issue to the forefront of current affairs. The documentary will explore animal cruelty in factory farming and investigate financially viable and environmentally responsible industry alternatives that will lessen animal suffering and improve consumer health. $15,000 for Animal Law by Jumping Dog Productions, Stephen Moore and Susan Lambert. Animal law, go, animal law goes to the front lines of the emerging battle to redefine the rights of animals in the eyes of the law. The documentary will follow a small group of passionate lawyers and activists preparing to go to court on behalf of animals that are abused and exploited. Employing many of the same legal pre precedents that were used to abolish slavery, emancipate women, recognize indigenous rights and protect children, Animal law is now being called Australia's next great social justice movement. Thanks, David Weisbrot, for that. <laughs> $15,000 to Humanising Animals, Civilising People by Professor Mirko Bagaric from Deakin University. Voiceless will accept on the Professor Bagaric's behalf. This project is a monograph that addresses the discord between our moral values on the one hand and our conduct towards animals on the other. The book will explore this most striking and important paradox and set out pragmatic steps that individuals can take to help animals. $15,000, kindly sponsored by biodistributors, goes to Go Veg 17 by uh, the organisation Do Something, and unfortunately John D couldn't be here tonight. Go Veg will encourage Australians to give up meat and adopt a vegetarian diet one day a week. Since the vast majority of meat comes from factory farmed animals, the campaign to encourage reduced meat consumption has the key aim of reducing the animal suffering associated with this in inhumane farming method. And finally, the People's Choice Award. This is hotly contested award for $10,000. And the winner is an, an investigation into whether grief is measurable in animals by the University of Queensland, Jessica Walker. <laughs> Using dairy cattle as a model, this project is an initial non-invasive investigation into whether non-human animals experience grief resulting from the permanent loss of a conspecific, a member of their own species. Near neighbour associations and association indices will be investigated to identify bonded individuals within a herd and both behavioural observations and physiological measures will be employed to describe individual cow responses to loss of a bonded conspecific. Thank you.